Hello everyone, in this video, we will practice WorldVec using pre-trained WorldVec from TensorFlow Hub. Let's quickly summarize what is WorldVec before practice. WorldVec is word embedding, and the word embedding is a vector representation of the word. In each word, embedding is just a number representation of the word. I visualize the word and the word's two-dimensional embedding in this two-dimensional space. If word embedding is well made, similar words supposed to be in similar position. WordVec is one of the state-of-art word embedding by Google. You can check the research paper I referenced at the bottom in this slide. Or you can check my another YouTube video talking about how the WordVec model be trained and generate word embedding in detail. If you have a question that, should I train WordVec model for my word embedding, then my answer is no, because First, it takes too much time to train with very large data set. Second, your model doesn't guarantee having qualified word embedding. What I suggest is just use a pre-trained word bank which is proven well trained on the large amount of data set. And from now on, I will briefly show you how to use pre-trained word bank and check word similarity. You can always go to my GitHub link and practice from Collab. Today, let's do it together. So I'm going to go to my GitHub page first, and here you can just click on this button. This button will redirect you to the Collab page where you can practice just using the Jupyter Notebook. It will take a little bit time to load the Jupyter Notebook on your browser. Now you have it. So you just shift enter on the first line. It will ask you, just click on the run anyway and you will import TensorFlow and the TensorFlow Hub so you can take the pre-trained word to back in your Jupyter Notebook and you will use NumPy to get the similarity between words. Here I'm going to run this line to load pre-trained word to back. This will take some time and here I'm using hub.load function and this link is from here, TensorFlow Hub. You can just search word to back in here in search box and you can see multiple word back which is already pre-trained by somebody. And here I'm going to use this wiki word 250 with normalization one. So you click on this one, then you will see detailed information about this one. Well, most importantly, you can just use this line. I use this line, as you can see from my Jupyter notebook. And here's more details and you can see the reference is from the Thomas Mikulov. Well, I really suggest you read this research paper or you can just go to my another YouTube video so that you can see how this word to back is being trained and how this gets the word embedding. Well, so now we will use this one. So I'm going to test with these four words, coffee, cafe, football, and soccer. Since this word embedding has 250 dimension, if you print out this one, then you will see four and 250. This four means you have four words, coffee, cafe, football and soccer and every word now have the 250 numbers so if we print this out then you will see uh, 250 numbers for the coffee because i printed out the first embedding embedding zero means coffee all right so let's see the similarity i'm going to use the numpy to see the similarity between the words well you can see the coffee and coffee has one means it's the same word so one meaning same word and uh, greater number is high similarity, lower number is low similarity. You can see the coffee and cafe has higher number than the coffee and football and coffee and soccer. Obviously the football and soccer uh, has a higher number than the football and the uh, coffee. So I hope you enjoy using the pre-trained word bag from the TensorFlow Hub and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.